It's Teddy by Nature and I am back again with another mukbang and this time with another place first time trying them so it's gonna be a mukbang slash food review slash sneakerhead conversation I guess I, I, I don't know but the place that I went to this time is called D.O.'s Seafood I had made another intro but I didn't make another intro at this point I just want to get straight to it at this point but yeah so I got, they had a four-way special, something like that, to get four meats and whatnot. Folks always be giving me multiple utensils, like, I know it's meant for two, but uh, there's only one. But, uh, yeah, let me put this on here. So my mama come in, have a heart attack. <sighs> Boom. Ooh, like, like, this is gonna be, I haven't seen it. Smell good, I haven't seen it, so we gonna be, let me put it closer. Ooh, we're gonna put it right here so we gonna both see it at the same time. Wait, I gonna see it before I do. Hold on. How that supposed to be? Y'all gonna see it before I do, but y'all ready? I don't wanna see it. I don't wanna see it. Does it look good? Do, do it look good? Ooh, hold on. Hold on. Saw a little bit of it in the camera. Hold on. Oh. <laughs> okay. Alright, I'm gonna tell y'all what I got. Look at that. Sting coming up off that thigh mine. Look at that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's do another. Hold on. There you go. That's a <laughs> that's a little better. Oh. All right, hold on. Hey. If y'all remember last time place I ate at was King Crab Kings. This time this is Dio's and one advantage I could tell you without even trying a food that they honestly do have over Crab Kings, which nothing against them, but they have turkey sausage. I don't eat beef or pork, if you don't remember, but they got turkey sausage. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right. Which I know. I'm going to scoot everything off to the side. Because what I want, I want these potatoes. I want these potatoes. Hold on. Hold on. Mm. I'm doing all this. This is my sneaker here. Come on. Yeah, I see that. There we go. All right. But that's all I'm moving for. But I want to do, I'm going to talk about shoes today. Oh, yeah, I got Cajun seasoning. Oh, I love asparagus, by the way. Let's stitch these over. They had asparagus for a choice. Uh. It's very hard. To find people to cook asparagus, well, there's nothing against them. It's just hard. Because on every now and then you still have like this stringiness to the asparagus. But, can't really fault them. But, uh, it's good though. It's good. But I want to talk about sneakers too. Because, growing up, I was never, oh, I got drinks by the way, but uh, y'all know I, don't, I ain't gonna drink no drink right now. But growing up, I never was like a huge sneaker person. Like, when I was growing up, my mom bought us and one shoes. I had to tell you, I had every color of and one shoe. But I never really wanted her to pay like $200 for some Jordans. Never wanted her to do that. But what I did have her do was I saw some Jordan 4s. There's this website. They had some Jordan 4s for like 50, 60 ish dollars. And I had to buy me a pair. Going to school, everything. Nobody knew they were fake. Nobody knew they were fake. Well, they were fake. But, they were my fake shoe. Sure. Hey, I had got two pairs. I had a pair of 4s, and I had a pair of 5s. 
But I love the fours. Like my favorite sneaker. If you to ever ask me, even back then, that like, was my favorite sneaker. I would tell you the Jordan Four. Yeah, like, never bought them in them, but that was my favorite sneaker. Even now, now like, if you'd ask me like five months ago, I would tell you Jordan Fours and Vapor Maxes. But now, after working where I work and doing what I do, Jordan Fours, Air Max One, Air Max Nineties. Favorite shoes. Favorite shoes. Hands down. All right. The fours, cause I always just love the fours. <sighs> yeah, I know I don't eat the white. Part. I mean, the yellow part on these. So we gotta, we gotta clean that up. I'm sorry for the end mention. In, 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 <laughs> yeah, I know what I'm trying to say. Intermission. But all right, man, doll. That's a lot of. Hold on. Ugh. Ugh. Ooh, oh. Mm. All right, there we go. But uh. The ones, MS ones and nineties, I'm so comfortable. Oh my god, I could literally wear them to all day, like working on everything all day, stand my feet all day. My feet do not hurt after it. Like it's amazing, for real. Like oh my god, this egg is delicious. By the way, like, it's delicious. Hold on, mm. chocolate corn. I got another egg in here. By the way. Mm. But there's two coins in here too. It's a lot of potatoes. Y'all know potatoes. But um, I didn't give me no beer. I just thought about that. I ain't got no gloves either. I don't know how I feel right now. <laughs> but um, yeah. It's pretty comfortable. Pretty comfortable. Uh, whatever. Mm. The only thing, just because I mentioned two Nike, like three Nike shoes, is my favorite shoes. I just don't. I never had really any other brand. Like, even all the shoes I got right now, like, I got a whole bunch of older LeBrons, like, a 7, some 11s, 13s, and a 14, I think. And then I got like for my real like hype shoes. Like you just saw I have the Shadow Backboard 3.0s. Then I have the OBJ 720 King of Drip. Which actually is a half size too big and it honestly is too big. Which I'm probably gonna give away, do a giveaway on those. And then I have the Jordan 4 Cool Gray. Which is my first Which is my first real pair of, like, first pair of real Jordans. And then, I got Air Max 1. We just do it. I have Air Max 90 B Trues. I have the Jordan 4 Fibas. I have the Biotech 2.0 Air 90s. And... I got some have a Nike Day high top Jordan, like I mean not Jordan. Air Force is the black and white like the black with the white smiley face. I got those. Alright. Those are like my hype shoes that I have. Um then I got like flip flops. I got a, like the I got a pair of the black uh fanny pack flip flops. And then some other flip flops too. But man this corn is delicious. Oh, um, yeah, those, the amount of shoes I really have, that I say are hype shoes, like, not really hype, but, you know what I mean, like, I keep them in, like, the shoe container, but shoe boxes, like, they stay there, um, what's this, you know, that's really, like, at first, like, I literally had another but LeBron, so, like, you asked me what shoe I wanted. 
if it was like if I didn't say LeBron, something was wrong. Like I'm not lying. Like I'm a huge LeBron fan. Like that's literally all I wanted. LeBron shoes. Yeah. You could have thought they were ugly, but I love them. Uh, what else? I'm trying to think that like them literally the only shoes I got. And, like I got like six, six, seven pair of LeBrons. Like I got some vault green joints. Oh yeah. Got some all black joints. I think they're the fourteen or thirteen. So no. I got some army like joints, which are dope to me. But they just hurt my feet. Oh my god. What else I got? I got some very, like, it was some very oversaturated, like, black and red ones he had. When I say oversaturated, I mean too many people had them. Like, too, too many people. So I started using those shoes for, like, when we go outside to, like, do stuff in the yard. Stuff like that. Like, I just dogged them out. But, uh, yeah. I got... As far as my rank, even though I don't like Jordan shoes, fours, I honestly say ones would have to be next, but fours automatically. Like, no, no shoe compared to it. And you wanna know what's weird about that? The fact that I love the fours so much? I hate, 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 hate. Like, this stuff is good. Hold on. I hate the threes and the fives. Nothing against Tinker. Like, nothing against homie. But I hate the threes. Like, I hate the threes more than I hate the fives. So, like, the threes are like epitome of ugliness me. Like, I was going to get them uh, Jordan 3, like the Tinker, Tinker Hayfield. This just came out. Uh, but it's like the sketch. I was just gonna do that for like the history of Jordan type vibe. But I'm still gonna pull the trigger. I'm just just ugly, man. Like no lie. Like no cap. Like straight to. It was just ugly. But I don't you feel like if you're a huge Jordan fan, like if you like hardcore Jordan, best player Jordan is Jordan, and if you didn't get those threes, you ain't a real Jordan fan of me. I'm not gonna lie. I don't care how you feel. Cause it's not disrespectful. Like, if you listen for those shoes, you wouldn't even have Jordan. Alright. Charles too. Cause like you wouldn't even have Jordan if it wasn't for that for that shoe. I better watch our sneaker history, bro. Oh god. Well, if it wasn't for him, Nike wouldn't have Jordan, and y'all folks wouldn't have, like, the huge success of Jordan brand shoe y'all got now that y'all be basically killing people over, fighting over, dying over, man, if it wasn't for that man. So y'all should honestly put some respect on that shoe. One thing I can say, though, they soft, it's like a... Kind of like drought, like not how much is that drought oil? Just like with craft cleans, the occasion was saucier. I don't know how to say it. I'm not a not a culinary person like that. But you really say bad things about this place. I don't say say bad things, but hold on. The customer service? I do want to say that. Like, when I first called, because I was going to try them, when I first called, the girl put me on hold for like 10 minutes. I hung up, called back. And then she put me on hold again for like another like five minutes. And then... When she finally act, was able to get to me, 
she I was asking her about the special and she didn't know what the special was. Like she didn't know. He was like the manager had just put it online. And she didn't have. So she really couldn't tell me. So then I had to wait. So like she said she was gonna call back, never did. But then she then I had then I waited. So I called back like an hour and a half later. And it's juicy. Like the crabs are actually like juicy. Oh he's eating them like this. It's juicy. Like I don't use no crackle. I'm gonna use a crackle for use a crackles. Pussy. But oh. Uh, I could taste like a flavor through the crab. I really can. And like one thing I can say about these seafood places, like even like crab kings in this place, they know not to give you no half fast crab cluster. Cause man, if I was out one cloud missing out this gym, it would have been over with on oh, God. Like say them for when y'all Go home for y'all lunch or something. Don't feed me that. Mm -hmm. Play dinner with it. But, um, yeah. So that way. I don't know what I was talking about. I started, started getting caught up in this. But, uh, but yeah. Don't, 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 don't down the, those three. But, uh, oh yeah, I was talking about customer service. And then I finally got the car, finally got a chance to talk to her. I think it was a whole different person. So I called back. I thought I waited like I called back twice, no answer. Then uh I waited like ten minutes and called her. And I answered. And I got the session. And mind you, I'm doing one even fifty dollars. It was fifty ninety nine. I guess charge extra because I had a card. Mm. But uh But, uh, yeah, so, I got it, went in there to get the food, and she just got his own face on somebody. I'm like, what the fuck? But yeah, she was on FaceTime with somebody. It was awkward. It was real awkward. It is awkward. So, when I went to Crab King, like, okay, man. Girl was a, like, like when I say attentive, I mean like she was aware. Like you had somebody coming through the door. She was aware. So I ended up, you know, telling her boom, boom, boom. Telling. I yeah, got it. They doing it right there. Boom, boom, boom. Got it. And I was like, all right, bet. Like. That's one. That's another thing. Cause service was a little bit different. I'm gonna tell y'all that right now. But, but uh, that was mine different. Cause what's the customer service? But this is good though. I can't say that. This is good. I was, it was 20 minutes for this food and it was 20 minutes for Crab Kings too. So. Uh, excuse me. But yeah. But back to the sneaker comfort. Uh, man. But I can say like for Adidas though. I feel like for well, Yeezys. Let's talk about Yeezys. Mm. Mm, what that was. But for Yeezys, I feel like they become oversaturated, to be honest. Right. 
I feel like when they first came out, they were so like limited. That's what made it a lot of hype about them and made them a little bit more expensive. But because of that hype, so that was a that was a vibe that they had. Cause it went from Nike to Adidas, but kind of went from Nike to Adidas, and then came up with my first song. I'm not gonna lie, I was like, "Damn, these just fresh, like for real." Then they had the technology in them. I felt like, like, man, these things comfortable. But over the time, people start saying them just start getting more and more uncomfortable. And over time, he started mass, like, mass producing. Like, they started coming out. Like, they're coming out now in more and more larger numbers. So it's not even like there's really no hype about them. There's really no exclusiveness about them. Like, you can buy them. Like, you can literally just, like, right now, this is getting more. You go in the store, they were gone. Now you go into the store, and plus they don't still be there. Like, that's not good. That's not good at all, buddy. But, dang, go on, sucker. But yeah, that's not good. That means either he producing too much, or it's hype going down. But, it's the fact that he is producing too many of them. And nobody's buying them like that. But, mm, it ain't mine. It's his life. But, um, uh, what else can I say? Yeah, really, that's it. But other than that, like, Adidas, like, they collabs that they have with celebrities. It's crazy. Like, Nike got Travis Scott, uh, Drake, daughter, uh, and then they be having like other like people like John Elliot and whatnot. But like all of and then keep forgetting about Virgil. I don't know why I forgot that man. That's disrespectful. Man, that's disrespectful. They got off white Virgil. And you know Adidas got Pharrell. They got Kanye. And yeah, you know, they got other people just the same, like Think, don't they got John Elliott too? Or something. Oh yeah, Nike got Fear of God, dude. I don't know his name. But they got Fear of God too. As well as like everybody else, but I'm just saying. Like Hold on, I'm gonna watch this. <laughs> but uh Yeah, like the one like shoe game, like shoe company a lot of people have kind of forgot about. Honestly, but they're really trying their hardest. Like, I've seen them. They're trying their hardest to come back. <laughs> they're trying their hardest to come back. It is K-Swiss. Like, I've seen some of their shoes. I ain't gonna lie, I'm just fresh. Like, real talk. You just go hard. Like, if you don't have seen any new shoe, go Google it right now. I'm telling you. You're yeah, hard. Like, oh God. I saw one pair. I was like, man. Well, they were a good penny, though. I ain't gonna lie. Like, y'all ain't, dang, y'all ain't there yet. I don't know why y'all trying to charge folks this money. Like, honestly, if they were cheaper, I would have bought them just. But, a little, little bit on the high side. So I had to leave them on their buy side. You feel me? Bye bye. But, uh. But, uh. Come on now. But yeah, K Swiss, but Reeboks, when they came out with the Belugas, the Boom Doogle Doogles, the, the Big Big Bill, whatever them thing called. One of the most satisfying moments you can ever have with eating crab. It's for the crab to come out just like that. Oh my God. Like, that's the savor of that moment. Like, like that really served in my mouth, bro. That was hot. But, um, yeah, but them just, I ain't gonna lie to them. I'm just hard. Like, for real. I'm just gonna go hard. Like, I would buy a pair. I ain't gonna lie. 
on Felis. I don't know what Fila on. Like on God. Like, cause I think Fubu come back too. Mmm. The Fila back in the day. Forever I love another. That's the Feebas. I feel uh, the Feebas. I know. I'm gonna say Feebas. I'm gonna feel like era. I remember. Been in jail forever. I love Atlanta. No one damn well from Memphis, but that them shoes. That's how hype you was like. I don't understand, man. Lil John hyped up a lot of companies, bro. And that was one company that definitely got hyped up because of that. But oh, I love Atlanta. That was a song, bro. I remember being in Coles one day, singing it. Why well, I'm in Memphis, singing it out loud to me. I'm born and raised in Memphis. <laughs> Been to Atlanta a couple times, bro. Shout out to Atlanta. I ain't gonna lie. I was thinking about that, like, if I ever want to move, if I ever decide to move, that's like, where would I move to? I was literally like thinking about that. And like, Atlanta is a good, like, close to home choice as well as like Nashville. But I was like, where would I go that would be like accepting, like, of like being a sneakerhead and stuff like that? Because Memphis really, I was say sneakerhead and like, car person. Because Memphis is really not acceptable of being like, let's say I want to go buy Lamborghinis. Get all the Volkswagens I want. Every Volkswagen. Yeah. We got, like, an Audi place. And they, they have, like, a vending place in Atlanta. Like, the family company got it. I don't know if they still got it or not. But they had a Bentley place. They had, like, Bentleys and Rolls Royces in Atlanta. How much irony is that? Like, but it ain't, it's not in Memphis, like, so, it was like, I don't, don't, I really don't want to go to LA, I ain't gonna lie to you, cause, I hear my folks coming in, probably gonna go and cut this short, but, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go and cut this one short, cause they coming in, I ain't got time for it, but, why, well, I wrote this up. I definitely want to say that's good. I'm gonna have part two of the sneaker conversation. Cause, but right now, I want y'all questions and y'all thoughts in the comment section. All right, go and put them down there, and I'm gonna check them out. We're gonna make another video. All right, all right. Love, peace, and music. I'm out.